boat was the first time I'd ever dealt with, what is it called, procedural animation. I'd never animated anything before. I knew how to set a key and to move something to the next, the next couple frames, set a key, and it would, the computer would move it in between, but I wasn't quite sure how to get my boat to go up and down in a wave-like motion and have the camera keep following it. But I decided I would get geeky about my trigonometry, use some sine waves, and get the boat to, to keep going. That was fun because it was the first time calculus actually excited me. I was like, ooh, the derivative of, of speed is acceleration. And that was kind of fun. And I'm actually not super proud of the water because I didn't feel like I was in control of the water. I felt like the water controlled me. I didn't understand quite how particle, particles worked or flip fluids. And it really bugged me how the water hits the boat. It just looks way too frothy and it doesn't, I didn't get that, that uh, this nice clean splash in the front like I wanted it to. And so the next step for that would be learn more about flip fluids, learn more about particles and how they work. I just didn't have time to do that for that project. The vase. The vase is my most favorite Houdini project that I've worked on thus far. I, I'd never worked with Houdini before and so when I started learning about Houdini's node structure with a you know, there's one piece of information that goes to another, that goes to another. It's like this giant web or a giant tree of little pieces of information. And it really excited me that I could see every single step that I had done to ma manipulate this face. I also really like it because I felt in control. Every break that you see was something that I planned in my head. I, I actually took, uh, took a vase and drew exactly where I wanted the cracks to be. I didn't have any um, random breaks except for one Voronoi, it's called a Voronoi fracture that I use right where the ball hits because I wanted a bunch of little pieces. It was cool because I spent hours and hours looking at porcelain breaking. I didn't want it to look like clay and I didn't want it to look like glass. So I remember just scouring the internet for all the breaking vases pictures that I could find. There's some weird ones of, of this girl with a sledgehammer driving her <laughs> into this giant life-size, well, it literally is as big as her. And I looked at that one a lot, just looking at how the cracks form. And I felt like I was able to, to capture that. It was also interesting because I learned about shading, how to capture the different pieces. And so I had to go into Houdini and be able to select with regular expressions, something I learned in my computer science class, how to select individual, piece, like individual pieces on a single piece. Because it's harder, normally you can only select one piece, but I was able to select certain edges of particular pieces using a regular expression in Houdini. And in the end, it just looks really cool in slow motion. That's why I like it.